Thank you. Is this on? Thank you. Hey folks, listen up. I'm proud to say that I'm now a certified panel in action. I had a serious accident coming in here. My car is totaled. And all I've gotten is uh, something I had before anyway, which is a pain in the neck. Now it's certified. It's in the police report. And I'm proud to report it because wouldn't you agree? Tell me whether you agree with this, that you're going to need a certified pain in the neck to raise hell in Congress if you really want to make a difference for we, the people. Now why do I start this way, apart from the fact that I got an excuse having had the accident? I start that way because I remember when I was here with you a, week, a year ago, and I spoke to you like an angry man. I said, I'm angry. And I think a lot of you are angry too. Well, since then, on the stump going through town after town in the 1st Congressional District, I've spoken to a lot more people who are angry, and you know why. And if you're not angry, more than you were a year ago, then you should be. Remember, hope has two daughters. Anger is one of them. Anger at what is, it's what's going on in Washington especially. And the other daughter is courage. To work, to change it. We were sold a good a bill of goods by President Obama. We promised change, we got chump change. We got the wrong change. And we should have recognized even then that change really is only real if it happens in the House of Representatives. Because that's the body that's supposed to be working for we, the people. But it ain't. It's not the House of People. It's not a House of the People. It's part of the best Congress money can buy. Now look, how do we make a difference? How do we make a difference? You've heard Jack speak, you've heard Ed speak. They've given you a few hints. If you're not involved, get involved. Because the role of this historical moment that we face, the great opportunity, is that we can help others to make a difference so that we can all make a difference together on the issues of our most heartfelt concern. And the number one issue, and I have to say, I'm the only one on your ballot to talk about this and this pain to you and others day after day, is that Congress is broke and only we, the people, can fix it. And unless somebody has a strategy and a program for the fixing, as far as I can tell, I'm the only one, then if they don't have it, it doesn't deserve, they don't deserve your support. And how else do we fill the bill if we're really to help people out there, which is my pledge, go on to www.peterbursforcoverage2010.com, you'll find a pledge to constituents. That's enforceable. It's accountable. The other two parts are, we need, a, we need a, a program, we all need, we're all activists. That's why I'm talking to you this way. You're the citizen leaders, you're the activists, and you'll be reaching out to others. So we need to ask how, using somebody in Congress who's working with us, can we help them, and indeed help ourselves to make a real difference on the issues of our most heartfelt concern. Well, the second is a program, a 10-point program in this case, and I don't know anybody else who's offering this, to empower people more than I would be empowered if you elect me to go to Washington. I don't like Washington. I'll haul my trailer down to the congressional parking lot once I get a new car. I'll haul it into the congressional parking lot, I'll sleep there for three days, and that'll be the minimum amount of time I'll spend down there. The rest of the time is working with you on the issues so that we will make a difference together. I'm not the low ranger. I need your help not only right now so that we can make a difference after November 2nd, together. But we need to be together now. And the third thing which nobody else is fighting for is a reform of campaign finance reform. I'm the only one with experience having worked for years on the issue and then going up to Senator John McCain and saying, Senator McCain, your approach has failed. Admit it. I have a better way, we can do it, but it involves recognizing the value of we the people, not just the value of money. And so your being here is so important, so important. I love you all, and please let's get together, and I would love, of course, not only your support on election day, but your active help. 
because then you can join a grassroots campaign and be part of a grassroots movement to make real change, where only real change makes a difference. That is, in the House of Representatives, and changing the way Congress does, we, the people's business. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. Uh, I think uh, Ed wanted to come back up for uh, a reason. I'll be back to some of the other candidates and say the whole round.